Hey Echo Park, how we doing? It's PE day. Today we're gonna try some yoga. Yes, and I know everybody's kind of mixed on yoga and I honestly, I haven't done a lot of yoga in my life, but um, I figured it was a good time to, to try it, go through a workout. Um, I found it kind of fun today, even though I'm not very good at it. You'll see in the video, there's plenty of room for improvement in my yoga game. But uh, it was still great, and I'm willing to do it again. I think uh, I think it was uh, I think it was kind of fun. So let's go through this, and you can kind of see what it's like. So we we found this routine um, with on the Derby site. So we like that site. There's some pretty cool workouts on that site. So I want to give them some credit and. Um, Hopefully we can find some more activities for you to participate in on the Derby site. So let's remember to find a safe space where we can be active before you start. Always look around to make sure the area is clear. Um, some things to remember when you're doing yoga. One, the more you practice, the better you'll become. So. I'm no Gonzo here that's uh, lifting chickens with his legs, but um, some of these acti or some of these poses were challenging for me. But I just know if I continue to do some of these, it'll get easier and easier for me. So the more you practice, the better you'll become. Uh, don't compare yourself to others. Embrace you. Uh, some of these things that we do, you're going to be great at them. Some of them are going to be challenging. Um, just just do the best that you can and at the end of the activity today give yourself a big high five breathe this is a huge one for me especially on the poses that were challenging for me if you find yourself holding your breath that was me uh, just relax and remind yourself to breathe so it's uh, very important in yoga that you're you're breathing so remind yourself as you're going through these poses all right, so here's the poses that we're going to do today. I'm just going to go through these slides so you can see what they look like. In the video, I'm actually performing the poses, and we'll hold each pose for 20 seconds, and then and then we'll move on to the next one, okay? So the mountain pose, we have the high lunge. So you'll go once with your right leg forward and once with your left leg forward. So the workouts kind of broke up into three uh, groups of three. So you actually do nine poses, but you'll go through each group of three um, twice because you have to do each side of the body. So the first time we'll go through, you'll do the high lunge with the right leg. Then the second time we'll go through, you'll do it with the left leg. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, warrior three. This was kind of challenging for me. Uh, I think this is the one in the video I fell over, or I didn't fall, but I tipped, and then I had to reset myself. So you'll go once on the right leg and once on the left leg. Even though this one was hard for me, I really like this one. This one was kind of cool. The upward salute. Um, yeah, my feet are a little wider here because uh, I'm too tall for my basement. So the ceiling's kind of low. So I had to spread my feet out so I could reach above my head. So you probably won't have to go with your feet this wide. You can just go shoulder width or just as wide as your hips when you do this one. Tree pose. This is another one I kind of like, but this was tough for me. I, I you're going to have your right leg up first and then you'll do it again with your left leg up. But I put my leg or my foot right up on my shin because that's the highest I could go. Some of you are going to be way stronger and better at this. So you can put your foot above your knee. You want to put it below your knee or above your knee. You don't want to put it on your knee joint. So that's what I learned today when I was learning this tree pose. So uh, if you're stronger and more flexible and and it feels okay, put your go ahead and put your uh, foot above your knee. The sundial salutation. This one, I was just I put my hands above my head, my arms above my head, and I grabbed my elbows, nice and relaxed. And then the first time I bent to the right, and then the next time I bent to the left. Um, so I'll take you through that on the workout. Plank pose, I like this one as well. This is like just holding a push-up position, but you want to make sure your body is in a straight line from your shoulders or from your head all the way to your ankles. So 
And we just held this for 20 seconds. And then the side plank, oh my goodness, this was the toughest one for me. So you're holding yourself up off the ground on the, on the side and then you're reaching up with your hand. Now you can't really see that well in the picture, but I was using my foot, my top leg. I kind of hooked that around the front to help hold myself up. And that was a modified uh, modified side plank because I could not hold myself up for 20 seconds. So if you need to do that as well, you can see my foot's on the floor here. Otherwise, if you, if you can hold yourself in the side plank with your feet stacked on top of each other, um, go ahead. That's great. I'm adding a quick... Uh, image into this explanation so that you can see what the uh, modified side plank looks like. This is the version that I did where I used my top leg to brace myself as I held this pose. And then the upward dog is you're laying down and then you just on your stomach and you press yourself up um, and this is a stretch. I, I really like this one. This one felt good to kind of just stretch it out a little bit. So the upward dog. Oh, now this is what Mr. Amundsen is the yoga master. He taught his dog how to do yoga. So I figured if Mr. Amundsen's dog could do yoga, I sure can do yoga. So the, his dog's a little bit more advanced than I am, but I'll get there. I'll keep working. And uh, I'll be able to do yoga with Mr. Amundsen's dog sooner or later. So have fun with today's workout. Do not get frustrated. Again, it's quick. It shouldn't even be 10 minutes. And then you'll be done. So uh, if you need help, please let us know. I'd love to see some videos or some photos of you completing some of the yoga poses. Send me one of your favorite. That's what we'll do. Send me your favorite pose. Share it right on our uh, Seesaw by clicking Add Response. And I'd love to see a picture of your favorite pose. Uh, that would be awesome. You could also send a video of your favorite pose. So have fun today. We'll see you soon, hopefully. See you soon, hopefully.